In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Chatbot Arena, which is an online tool to compare the models. This new tool ranks chatbots by pitting them against each other in head-to-head -head competitions. This Chatbot Arena allows to prompt two large language models simultaneously and identify the one that delivers the best responses. This chatbot tool provides a qualitative score implemented in a way that can rank any number of models relative to one another. This chatbot arena offers two modes. One is the chatbot arena battle mode and the other one is chatbot arena side by side as you can see on your screen. And I will definitely drop the link in video's description for this tool. Now, the way it works is, in short, is that when a user enters a prompt, two separate models generate their responses side by side. In which is the side by side model for you, as you can see here, and this is uh, the place where you enter the prompt. In the battle mode, you give it a prompt, it generates the result, and then you rank it. After you have ranked it, it will show you which models it used. So this is how it works. And then this system aggregates this competition and ranks model according to the metric known as ELO, which rates competitors relative to one another. ELO has no maximum or minimum score. A model that scores 100 points more than an opponent is expected to win 64% of matches against it. And a model that scores 200 points more is expected to win 76% of matches. Okay, now let's play with it a bit to see how it works. The first question I'm going to ask in this battle mode is this, what is the capital of Tonga? Uh, now I'm click on send and then th these are the two models which are competing against each other. We don't know yet which models are there. And once we rank it, then it will tell us. Now, both of the models have um, guessed it correctly, so I'm going to put it as a tie. Now it is going to tell me which model it used. So the model A was Claude 2, and the model B was Gonoko 33B. And both have come up with the correct answer, which is correct. Now, let me ask it a bit more difficult question, but one thing I've found out is that just to uh, use a new set of model you have to reload the page because if you put the prompt on the same page as for the previous answer it is going to use the same mode okay now we have reloaded it again let me ask it this is new relic monitoring tool compatible and compatible with windows 2003 click on send now let's see what it does and by the way the answer is that it's not compatible so let's see which model guesses it correctly and as i mentioned earlier we don't uh, know which models they are okay so the right hand one says that it's not aware of any compatibility issue which is wrong i think it is just a generic answer okay and this one on the left hand side, the model A has come up with the correct answer. It says that based on the information, New Relic Monitoring Tool is not compatible with Windows 2003. And it has given us a minimum supported OS. The so model A wins this. Let it finish and then I will rank it. Okay, um, that is good. Let it finish typing and then We'll see which model is this model A, which has won this competition. Okay, now A is better. Now let's see which model is for this. So it is Lama 2, 13 billion, whereas Wizard Alum has lost it. No worries. So this is how you can do the battle mode. Let's also check it in the side by side mode. Now this one is a Lama 2 and this one is Raven. Let me ask. And you can select the models from here. Just click on them and then they will be selected. Okay, now let me put it here. The same question. Let's see which one wins. 
Okay, so let's wait for it to come up with the result. Okay, this one says that it was unable to fetch it, which is okay. Nice, so okay, um, it has given me this answer from Microsoft, and which is fairly a generic answer. Now, this is here it says that. Uh, New Relic is compatible to some 8 and later version or not officially supported here, which is bang on. Now, just to be on the safer side, it's very cleverly also suggesting us that it might be possible. So, which is cool. Okay, um, one more thing. So, uh, we can definitely select it here. Now, while it writes it, let me show you that these are few of the rules which you can follow. Uh, you can multiple you can do multiple rounds of conversation before voting and you can click on clear history to um, once this is done this is a clear history button you can also regenerate it okay also another thing in this chatbot area is that you can look at the letter uh, leaderboard here where which one is winning so far uh, publicly the so gpt4 is at the top and then we have two cloud models and then GPT 3.5 and it's quite interesting to see that we have MPT 30 billion here too but I believe this is going to change soon because I have found out that this Llama 270 b will rise fairly quickly that is my guess maybe it will come behind GPT 4 or even Cloud V1 so let's see let's wait for it you can also play around with the single model so just select any model here and then you can go from there in this drop down select any model like Mikuna or anything then it will just go with it and let's go back to our side by side to see what happened there so this is way better so i'll just rank it a is better llama 2 wins here so this is how you can use uh, chatbot arena to play around with these models very very nice tool i really like it um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.